I'm going to be announcing the winner. I've just received all their names. In fifth place, the winner is Karisimbi Technology Solutions. Please come and take a picture. This is a good moment. He goes home with 12,500 US dollars to invest in his business. In fourth place, the winner is Bob. Bag. He also goes home with 12,500 as an investment in his business and a good smart solution that he pitched today. In third place, the winner is Afri Farmers. Afri Farmers presented a beautiful idea and to that reason, he goes home with 15,000 US dollars, an investment in his brilliant tech solution. In second place, the winner is Second Life Storage. Well, I'm pretty much you understand what that means. By knowing the second, you know the first. But the second also goes home with an amount equivalent to 20,000 US dollars cash. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. We can hear your excitement. To award the first place winner, we would like to invite His Excellency Paul Kagame, joined, joined by the chairman of RDB, Mr. Itzhak Fisher, to give the first award. And the winner is Afri Duno. Duno! She walks away with 50,000 US dollars cash to invest in her business, she brought a brilliant idea of packaging our culture with modern technology and music. She is the winner. She is the crown champion of Hunger Pitch Fest 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Let's give a round of applause to we will now invite all our winners and esteemed awardees to take a group photo to mark this exciting occasion, after which we shall have the keynote remarks from His Excellency. A good evening to all of you. I would have spoken without a piece of paper in my hand, but uh, since I'm uh, meeting very important people, the young people, the winners of today, and uh, the other people, but very important, who are here, especially those who made uh, this event possible, uh, my job is mainly to acknowledge uh, all of you and uh, I want to uh, mention uh, people's names so I don't uh, want to forget any name uh, so that's why I have uh, a piece of paper in my hands. But definitely, I'm just uh, 
thrilled, very pleased uh, to be here joining you for this very happy moment and having had uh, all you had today, uh, I join you uh, in recognizing the five uh, startups that have been uh, have received the awards in this first ever event of uh, hunger uh, pitch fest. So I, I thank for uh, I thank the diplomats uh, who are here, guests from uh, across the world. I thank you for joining us and also for being part of uh, uh, this uh, very beautiful day. This is a very interesting and excellent initiative. And I commend all institutions uh, involved as well as the youth who have spent the day here learning about entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, and as I said earlier, this is just the beginning, so I think more is going to be done and more is going to be achieved as we go forward. So let me acknowledge the generous sponsors who have made this event possible. They include Ishak Fisher, chairperson of the Rwanda Development Board, UNDP, uh, represented here by Mr. Maxwell Gomera, the Jasiri program of the Ellen and Jill Gray Philanthropy, Katie Rwanda Networks. I'm sure there are others uh, probably I didn't uh, put on my list, but I'm aware they want to be added on the list uh, by the next uh, event we hold here. <laughs> so I welcome them and I congratulate them, uh, congratulate them in advance as well. <laughs> uh, numerous uh, other associate partners have made uh, notable contributions. I go back to the finalists. I congratulate uh, you all. I hope you are as proud uh, as we are for you. Technology and innovation are driving Rwanda's transformation. Not enough yet. So that's why I want more of it. I want to do more. Because if you want to drive the based on knowledge, which is very important, and by the way, which is available in any part of the world you go to. It just uh, depends on how you are ready to tap into that. Uh, the difference will be made by how you focus on it, you invest in it, and see it uh, with the 
that importance it holds. Uh, the Hunger, Hunger Pitch Fest has equipped all those who participated with the new tools uh, to help you grow your companies. I want to encourage you uh, to take full advantage of the programs and the services in our country to help uh, start up entrepreneurs succeed. I want to single out an example of uh, Norskin, East Africa, which just launched a health tech hub and we offer 20 Rwandan startups a platform to solve some of Africa's health challenges. Congratulations and uh, we appreciate that contribution. More public-private partnerships will be needed to accelerate the growth of this ecosystem. In particular, in higher education and research, the most successful startups are rooted in science, research, and technology. In all advanced economies, eventually we want ours to be, the linkages between universities and entrepreneurship are deep and productive. In Africa, it's not going to be any different. <clears throat> to all the sponsors and partners here with us today, once again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your commitment and all resources and your time you put into this. We still have a long way to go, but let's continue working together to see tangible results. I would wish for the finalists great success going forward you have all our full support, including those who did not succeed. We want them to succeed next time. So I wish you a very happy evening. And uh, please uh, be and stay safe and let's work hard going forward. Thank you very much.